Uh, Matt, first, uh, you had a lot of offense in there, probably a 12-8 um, if they've gotten the scorecards. Were you expecting a stoppage at that point? Uh, I was, yeah. Uh, he went for that leg lock, and I was able to you know, stay heavy on top of him. And I thought for sure I'd be able to put him away. I just punched, I punched my heart out. You know, and it literally, in the second round, I felt it. So um, not putting him away, I was a little upset with, but uh, I was able to get the job done in the third. I want to talk about something before the fight. Uh, I know you spoke about your brother suffering an injury at some point, quite a bit of turmoil. What was that about? What was the situation? Well, uh, sadly, uh, if you see this, Stephen, I love you, for one. Um, but my brother's homeless, uh, struggles with addiction. My, a lot of that family has before. Um, and he was actually shot and almost lost his life on the streets. So um, dealing with that, coming off that last... <laughs> Excuse me. That last from my last fight, um, it was tough to see him go through that. So um, I'm just glad to get that W. Um, a lot of people deal with things like that, and that's all meant to undermine mm -hmm. what you're going through in your family. But uh, any words to uh, other people who might be struggling with addiction or might have um, one on their family? Yeah, just stay tough. You know, um, if they're not ready for the help, you know, you can't help them. But um, show them the love, anyways, because you don't know if they won't be there tomorrow. Do you look at fighting as a platform you can be on to sort of fight for your brother and your family who are going through this stuff? Uh, since the beginning, fighting has been um, it's been the goal to make it a platform and uh, share my feelings with the world and, you know, be raw with it, you know, show my feelings, uh, be who I am and, you know, hopefully inspire others to, do, to you know, follow the same path, uh, footsteps. Going through that sort of emotion, <clears throat> was there ever a point where you considered maybe backing out of the fight and, you know, pushing back? No, if anything, I, I was more motivated, you know. Um, I don't want to let something like that drag me down, especially if it's not me, you know. Hopefully he sees it, Steven, and, you know, you can be here too, buddy. Matt, there was such a fast turnaround between, you know, your contender series fight and the fight with Shaman. Yes. Uh, how much more confident were you, again, even with the stuff that happened in between, uh, you know, the last few months, going into this fight, just talking about the, you know, preparation itself? Yeah, um, I was really confident coming into this fight. I was really hungry. Uh, I wanted that W back um, really bad. I thought I got it that first fight. But the judges saw it differently. Um, I tore my retina that fight, and uh, you know the judges didn't know that. So um, after that fight and dealing with the things after, I was I was a little angry, and I wanted that W back, and I wanted to show the world what I'm about. Any issues with your eye now? No, it's actually fine. Yeah. Was this the best way you could rebound from a loss? Just considering in the first round you lost and you showed a you know really good striking in the third, of course you won by submission. You showed a bit of everything. Right. Could could, could the fight and, and, and sort of the rebound fight have gone any better? Um, I think for the fans this is a great fight and it shows a lot of what I'm about. Um, that second round was tough. I had a battle through adversity. He had a really good deep choke in there and I was able to defend it. And you know that's what I'm about. I, I can come through. Uh, the worst of it and, and still come back and get a win, you know, so I'm just glad uh, I'm actually glad it went that way because now, you know, the fans know what I'm about Talk us to the finish. Did you see it or was it just kind of going in the moment because you went quickly from stuffing to mounting to um, in, in Throughout this camp and before that's one submission. I, I'm good at uh, there's a few that I'm good at and uh, He was off balance on that shot from the underhook I was able to step over to Mount when I saw the opportunity and I was taking strike, strike, strike and his arm just kind of came across and my left arm was underneath and I saw that I recognized the position and I just went for it and, you know, gave it my, my all and finished him. Did he go out? Because just after he tapped, you saw him get up. I don't know yeah, if you saw the I, I saw, I saw after uh, he was stumbling around and I, I heard him wheezing, I heard him breathing and uh, he tapped, but I didn't let go right away because the ref didn't pull me off. So, you know, possibly those chokes are, are really tight and you never really know. But uh, I did see him after and he looked a little wobbly, but you don't know. You know, your brain's real messed up after a fight. So, you know, I couldn't say it for sure. What's the uh, plan moving forward then? Would you like to get back in quickly? Do you have any names in mind? Yeah, I want to go, uh, I want to go home. I want to eat, enjoy my time with my family for a week and get right back into the gym. And, you know, hopefully get back here in uh, three or four months and get another W. Uh, there's no partic uh, particular opponent I got my eyes set on. Whoever the UFC gives me, you know, I plan on beating that guy too and working my way up the ladder fairly.